Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your next 40 days, September 20, 2025 for Sagittarius, the Archer. September 20, 2025, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Mars, and Sagittarius. What's the message you hear for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? What are the messages for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, okay. Summer rising Venus and North Node. September 24 and 25. All right. All right. So this is, so I feel like you're really looking at, yeah, I feel like something's going to balance it. This could be your bank account. You could be losing money. You're really looking at your money here. Okay, maybe you're going from 7,000 to 2,000 or 700 to 200. But something's very, it's fluctuating in your money. You could be moving something out of your bank account, maybe from your savings to your main account or from your main account to your savings. Okay, but this is something that's about your work here. This could be, um, maybe, maybe your schedule fluctuates here or you're not able, or maybe your check changes or your money or maybe you need more hours or maybe something, something you have to, Something is something about something you've invested in here, Sagittarius. What else? Whew. All right, Sagittarius. What else? What else for Sagittarius? The Archer. September 24. I think something flipped over. Yeah. Okay. So this is resting as well. This is spending a lot of time at home or in the bed. You're resting. Okay, yeah, the moon card. I feel like you really think about the past at night. Maybe you're up at night a lot in bed, just thinking about something, thinking about your money, your finances, your career. Maybe how to, maybe something you want to invest in. Okay, I have seven thousand dollars. Do I want to put it into this? Can I make this grow? Do I want to do the work? Do am, am I willing to put the work in behind whatever this is I'm planning on investing in? Um, is this what I really want to do? Yeah, the world card. So changes are complete or just or or just closing out. Maybe maybe you're free, you're realizing that certain places or people cannot come. Yeah, there's a true uh, a true there. Maybe there's a depression here. I feel like you're almost in a depression, like about your career, your money, or what you want to do. Yeah, really going within and contemplating here. Really pulling your energy away, ghosting people, not wanting to be bothered. Yeah, the two of swords and the hermit, you're just like, no, man. You really wanted to tap in, listen to your intuition. It's probably some chaos and bullshit going on around you where you can't really hear. We have cancer energy here as well. I'm also getting your bored with something or someone had been. Maybe you've been with someone for a while and it's just the same shit uh, or the same positions or the same sex or something like that. All right, what is this? The Sagittarius. I, I just feel like you want something. New, yeah, the Queen of Swords. Maybe someone's very cold, or somebody's just very direct, or there's <laughs> all right, or something's not very, yeah, the Five of Pentacles. Someone's like cold as ice, so they're not very sensual or sexual. Yeah, the Five of Cups. <sighs> all right, Sagittarius. All right, or maybe you're very, being very cold and you're disinterested in someone, or maybe this is someone you're thinking about from your past that you haven't talked to. You've been in complete uh, disconnection with. Maybe you you have fears around speaking to this person, or maybe this is them that has fears around speaking to you. All right, but I feel like you're very, somebody is just I don't know. Yeah, what's the Queen of Swords? All right, So you have a lover. So I feel like somebody is like guarded. Maybe you're very secretive or standoffish. Maybe you rejected this person or went cold. There's something you did in the past that, uh, or something somebody else did. Pick what side of this you're on, where you feel like, I feel like you want, you feel defeated or you want to come out of the mind games or you have the lovers and the stars. So there's a connection you want to heal. You want to heal something with someone. You want to stop playing the mind games. You feel defeated. You have the Knight of Swords. You may even want to rush in for commitment here. You really want to, yeah, the shift. There's been a shift or a change in the way you view something or see someone. You you want to, uh, you want to come out. Yeah, the, the, this reading could be a confirmation. You want to come out of somebody. You want to speak to somebody. You don't want to play the main mind games, but you feel like somebody has their guard up. Maybe somebody sees you as secretive or a liar or something like that. You feel like they're, they're, they're not going to speak to you. Yeah, the Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, are you going to be left on red or rejected? Okay. 
you know, the four of wands and the lovers, but you, you do feel, or maybe you want to stop, yeah, the five of wands. There's some kind of conflict and controversy here. All right, yeah, the seven of cups. Confusion or mind games. Somebody sees you as a joke or you play mind games or this is how you see someone or whatever. All right, what's the five of swords in the reverse? Okay. Okay, you have the judgment. So someone's calling something out. So it's almost like waiting, constant waiting here. I feel like you want, no, you're, you're kind of waiting for someone to reach out, but they're not. It's like you have these offers in front of you, but you don't want them. Maybe the... Uh, we have the Six of Wands, the Hangman, and the Page of Wands. So this is a message or something that's being left on red or left. Or you feel like somebody's going to leave you on red or reject you or not respond at all. So you may be trying to call someone or get someone's attention, okay, or something like that. Or you feel like someone's trying to get yours. You have the judgment, okay. But there's some kind of decision or somebody is saying, this could be a public speaker. You have the Page of Cups. So there's some kind of an apology or offer. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to call you or reach out here, but they, they definitely want to come out of the mind games, possibly apologize. But I feel like uh, somebody's very guarded here. Maybe they have a total disinterest. I feel like someone fears rejection here. Maybe too much time has went by or somebody just sees somebody as full of bullshit in games. Yeah, the nine of wands. I feel like somebody's very insecure about this apology. Someone's worried that you're going to cut them down or say something condescending or you're going to take a chance, the opportunity to get back at them because maybe they rejected you in the past or you're going to take that opportunity to do it to them now or something like that. So something's still ego driven, but with the five of swords in reverse, it's almost like somebody wants to come out of the ego. They want to apologize, but they're insecure. They're afraid of what you might say to them or what you might do, or how you might react, or whatever, or that you may not have no interest at all, or something, or they, or you feel like this, or something, yeah, okay, I also feel like somebody feels you're very condiment, okay, yeah, all right, let's see what this is, yeah, the king of swords, yeah, It's almost like somebody wants to let their guard down, tuck their tail and apologize, but they're insecure. It's like almost like somebody feels like they have to put a wall up there or they have to go toe to toe with you because you don't care or something like that. Yeah, the sun card. Leo energy here and cancer energy is here as well. This could also be very condescending. This could be also be somebody apologize. Maybe somebody's very fearful. Somebody feels like they have to tuck their head because you're gonna cut cuss them out or say something here. I feel like somebody tries to assert themselves, but it's hard or something. What's the sun card? Yeah, you're a big deal. You intimidate somebody. Your intellect, your intelligence. You 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 intimidate somebody here. You're a big deal. You shine very bright here with the star and the sun card. You shine very bright. Aquarius and Leo Cancer energy here. You have the nine of cups. Living your life. You have the nine of pentacles. You're very beautiful, independent, self-sufficient. You seem to get what you want. Somebody knows you don't need them. Somebody knows you don't give a fuck. Two of wands, ten of pentacles, and the lovers. Yeah, somebody in the king of pentacles. Somebody knows you're a good choice. They want a family with you. They want to breed with you. They get yeah, a page of pentacles. They want to be with you. Just period. And I feel like somebody tried it or they were very cold. This could be somebody in, in the military or ex-military. Or this could be somebody that was involved or I don't, I don't know. Okay, yeah, the five of wands. There seems to end the seven of swords in reverse. There's a lot of con. There's a lot of... The two of cups is so somebody is there's a lot of competition and jealousy here. I'm getting like somebody really somebody is coming back in, um, like the page of cups, but they're really the five of swords. Someone's gonna apologize to you. They hate to do it, they hate that they have to do this, but they know that they can't come towards you unless they do this. So I, I feel like somebody is like so angry about that. They're like, no, I don't want to have to lower my position or I'm just as into somebody is like intimidated because you're just as intelligent as them 
or even more. They can't confuse you. You're enlightened. What's the Queen of Swords in the high? Yeah, somebody wants to. What's the Queen of Swords in the judgment? You're too enlightened, or you know too much, or you're not. You're not with the fuck shit or the games. You have the Ten of Swords. Somebody knows you will cut their ass straight off dead. You will cut it dead. You ain't with none of that. You have the Ace of Swords. You're too smart. Your words are like dagger. Somebody is scared. They're like, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna stay gone. Eight of, <laughs> eight of cups, or I'm just gonna go with this other person, or go down another one. Because this, even though this person wants you, they, they see you. You're a star. You're shining bright. You're the sun. Yeah. Somebody knows you will cuss their fucking ass out. Just period. The three of swords. Someone's really, really worried about your mouth. Somebody feels like you have a very, very nasty mouth, Sagittarius, or this is you. That feels it's about someone else. I'm just kidding. Somebody could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with your ass and that intimidates you. You want somebody to come at you like the Page of Cups instead of the Queen of Swords, but you want to play mind games, the Five of Swords, and try to up, up smart someone or outsmart someone or whatever. And it's just not going to work. Yeah, the Six of Swords. Yeah, the, yeah. Somebody's arrogant or somebody wants you to come back. Somebody really wants to talk to you, but they don't want to reach out. They want you to come towards them or this is you. But you're the one that did something wrong or you're the one that did something. You ended something abruptly or said something harshly or was impulsive or whatever the fuck. You need to apologize, but you're not willing to. You don't want to. You want to stand your ground or you don't want to do it or something like that. You just want to sit and stalk and watch and spread rumors or lies or you don't want to have to apologize for the lies and slander and rumors you told on this person or the gossip you did or whatever. You don't want to have to do that. So you're just going to stay away, but you're going to stalk this person obsessively and stress. Okay. What's the star and the sun and all this shit? Yeah. But somebody knows you have a bright future or somebody knows, yes, yeah, so you could be very attractive the other night of wine. Something about your legs, your ass, your abs, your boobs, you're just fine as fuck. You're actually this person's wish or somebody wish for you. Yeah, somebody could be foreign, Haitian, Dominican or whatever. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Like you're very attractive. You're well traveled. You're independent. You're very progressive. You just do your fucking thing. I feel like somebody's watching you on TV or fantasizing about you or wishing about you or this is you. Yeah, I feel like somebody's in deep regret with the five cups. They regret playing you like an option. Somebody is really looking at themselves. Somebody's confused as to how they lost you or how they could slip on you or how they're a loser. Okay? Or this is you. You have the Eight of Pentacles and the Higher Five. So I definitely get a public speaker or somebody that's very inspirational here. Yeah, I feel like somebody wanted to play mind games, Five of Swords. It was an endless battle of wits. Somebody wants to compete and go word for word and all this. And you're not done. You're not with the confusion, the games, or none of that. It's over. Just period. You're done. You have the emperor. So you could be the head of your own shit. Living your life. Somebody sees that. You're also very abundant or you're starting this family with this emperor. Yeah, you're looking towards the future. You're spirited. You want nothing to do. You have moved on. Three of one. Maybe some of you are moving overseas or you're planning to or you're traveling to see someone. You're going towards someone that you want to be with or see or this is you. Let me see. Come on, Sagittarius. Yeah, okay. So somebody's seeing nine of pentacles and the knight of wands. Yeah, the six of pentacles. Now somebody see you getting money or you're doing your thing or you're living your life. Now somebody sees you as perfect. You're just perfect for them or something like that. I feel like I feel like somebody is really like, yeah, the title card. Somebody wants a commitment with you. Somebody sees long term with you. Birds or doves could be significant. Yeah, the, the, the Knight of Wands to the Queen of Wands and the Lovers. Yeah, very attractive, very sexy. Sexy, sexy, sexy energy here. Somebody is just so... Mm, I don't know why I've been getting that. Somebody here is fine. Maybe somebody been working out. They look so fucking good. Okay, yeah, the Devil card, Capricorn energy. So, uh, yeah... Somebody's definitely obsessed with you, obsessed with having you, or obsessed with you, or obsessed with trying to confuse you, or something like that. Yeah, the hangman and the empress. Yeah, the queen of cups and the death. What is this? What is the seven of cups and the devil? Somebody is like obsessed with. Somebody has really stabbed you in the back. Somebody has really. Yeah, the the um the ace of cups. So this is yeah. Somebody is trying to like 
drain you or pull on your energy or the letter M could be significant. You have the two of cups or confuse you about this new love or this commitment or something that you're doing it's, or something. Somebody's trying to play on your energy. So because they can't come to you like a motherfucking man or whatever this is, now somebody wants to, now not, somebody would rather play on your energy. Somebody really wants to apologize or give this offer to you. Somebody has grown up Knight of Wands to the King of Wands possibly, or maybe you're in love with this fire sign or could be an Aries or a Leo or whoever. Yeah, okay, yeah, the Queen of Wands and the Lover. Somebody actually sees you as the one for them or, or that you would look good with them or you would look good on their shoulder or something like that but they play games yeah the eight of swords somebody keeps trying to trap you devil seven of cups confuse you trap you do spell work on you and all this other shit instead of coming forward to you somebody keeps trying to manipulate your energy instead of apologizing coming towards you saying this or whatever the fuck it is they keep trying to play on your shit the spell is broken bitch if it ever was one for if it was one it's over eight of swords to the ten it's broken or something shattered or someone's going to shatter their phone or something is shattered if this, if it wasn't spell work your, or your spell work isn't working, it's just not, yeah, nine of swords. Now somebody shook and worried because they can't trap you or stuck you or someone stuck in their head about how to come forward to you, how to get your attention, how to get you to reach out first or how, because they know something has changed. Death card, Scorpio energy. They know that something has changed. Yeah, the five of wands. Now they have to compete for you. Maybe when you in the past where you were willing to give their energy to them freely, they, they took advantage and played mind games and did spell work on you. And now you're over them completely is dead and done. Just over with. And now somebody wants to, yeah, the three of swords, yeah, it's over. You've you've moved on, or yeah, somebody's having a hard time struggling, trying to do something here. I feel like it's it's not gonna work. Okay, you're you're not gonna be successful. It's going to fail miserably. Okay. Even if it works on somebody, the, it, the spell is going to be broken. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers. Yeah, you have new love here. A very deep commit, a deep, a very deep and committed uh, connection here as well. Somebody wants you to also know that they change. They want to put the work in. They love you. They want they choose you or they're making yeah, somebody's making a decision on who they want as well. They're letting go of anything from the past that was hindering or them or blocking them, or this is you. Somebody's having their, like an awakening of how much they're in love with you, or yeah, the yeah, the, so somebody could be walking away from a situation to come towards you. Yeah, the perfect blending of energies with the tempers. This is beautiful. The lovers in the two of cups is the bond that cannot be broken. Okay, it just cannot be. All right, yeah. Yeah, the hang is somebody's had some kind of enlightenment and someone's going to be left out in the cold. Someone's going to be heartbroken here because someone's listening to their intuition and choosing to go towards whoever this is. Okay, they're listening to that and they're tapping in and they're going to go towards yeah, someone's being rejected, left out, blocked or forgotten about or somebody else has gotten that. Yeah, the two of swords, the energy yeah, in the world. Somebody has made a final decision, the knight of pentacles, something is not moving forward. This is just, you are indifferent or you've cut it off or you pulled your energy away. It's over for you. Okay. Yeah, if somebody was indecided, in, indecisive or taking a long time to make a decision, they've made that. Justice and the strength card, if they was holding back, somebody's decided who they want to be with or who they want to pour their energy into. Yeah, page of wands. Confirmation, yeah, the will of fortune, a shift. Somebody's had some kind of awakening or some kind of clarity here. Or somebody's realizing their worth or somebody has just moved on. Somebody is ha somebody's having a hard time realizing that something is over. It will never be the same. The death card, it will never be the same. It could also be worried that somebody has to let go of their past completely, who they were, their identity pretty much, and let go of the illusions, the lies, and the spell work that they were under by several people possibly with the Seven of Cups. Somebody's willing to do that though. Somebody is healing and moving forward with their life. Okay? Somebody is. I mean, the world card is here. It's over. I feel like somebody. I feel like somebody is unaffected by your spell work or whatever the fuck this is. They don't care. They're still closed off, or they're not going to budge or move. It's over. So you can do all the spell work you want to do. Yeah, this is justified with the justice card. It's still not going to work. Okay. It's just not your lies, your secret, your, your whatever the fuck you were doing. You, you you got caught. It's over, and this is justice. Okay, for whatever reason, what is this for uh, Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, September 24th, 25th for Sagittarius. All right, 
So we have a compass. Okay, knowing the way. Okay, balancing act. You could be dealing with a Libra because she got these cards as well. Libra or got this card here. She slow and steady. Libra got all those same cards. So you definitely could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, but it's over here yeah, home. Okay, and dry death. Yeah, something is not, something is not, uh, yeah, magic prayer. Libra got that, or Leo got that too. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Leo. Okay. Yeah, come together in ghost land. Somebody wants to come back together and it's not going to happen. Somebody has been ghosting or somebody's feelings does not feel the same. It's just over. Yeah, spirit of place. Somebody knows where they belong. Peace of joy. And wherever they're at, they're happy. And that's where they're staying. Or someone's making a decision to, to do that. Okay? So those are your messages, Sagittarius. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and follow. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.